Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hi, my name is Sophie and welcome to my space on the internet. In today's video I have another very very exciting video for you. Now, if you watched my 23rd birthday vlog, which I'll leave linked up there, if you haven't, how rude of you not to have watched it, um, then you'll know my amazing boyfriend Tom bought me two eyeshadow palettes for my birthday. I've already reviewed, swatched one already and I'll leave that linked up there now which is the Stacey Marie Carnival palette which I'm obsessed with you need to check out um, but and today we are reviewing the second palette the Beauty Bay everything you need bright nine color palette which comes in this funky holographic box which says everything you need or the EYN um, and then bright nine color palette on the, here on the back it's got a little description as well it says a compact eyeshadow palette containing the absolute most essential matte and shimmer shades you need to create a bright standout eye look with nine shades for lid crease liner and highlight that can be used on their own blended together the everything you need nine color bright palette contains everything you need to build multiple looks that range from soft and subtle to bold and eye-catching better yet you can use these shades to add color to looks built from other everything you need palettes oh. That was a mouthful. I'm surprised I didn't stumble even more than I did, to be honest. Speaking and reading, not my thing. But this is what it looks like when you open it up. It comes in a little bubble wrap, little casing, and then take it out of there. This is the palette. It's a nice matte black um, packaging with the, again, holographic blue um, detailing. So it's everything you need. Bright nine colour palette with a little Beauty Bay logo there. Obviously I've already used it so it's got foundation on there already and then it's got the same description on the back in blue and then when you open it up it has a really nice big mirror which is really handy and I used that today when I was doing it like it's not a um, distorted mirror like it's pretty damn good for a mirror um, and then it says bright underneath the mirror and then you have shades so it's nine shades it's one two three four shimmers five mattes well mattes <laughs> four shimmers five mattes and yeah here is the colors do, 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 do. focus on it not me that's what they look like obviously i've already used some to do this eyeshadow look which we'll get into um i've not used the cool shades in this palette um but i've used the other ones and yeah, when I keep watching, I'm going to swatch and then we're going to do this eyeshadow look and test out the shadows together. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okie dokie, so first things first, it is time to swatch the colours in the palette. So, I'm going to do it row by row. I know there's only three colours in each row, but it's my thing. I do it row by row. So, starting with the first row. So, here we have the first row. Starting from this side, we have Candid Candy Floss. Tutti Frutti and Surreal Strawberry. So here is line two, starting from this side, Heat Wave, Lemonade and Granny Smith, which is an apple. That's why it's good, if you didn't know. <laughs> it took me a second to be like, Granny Smith? But then I remembered it's an apple. And then here is the third and final row, starting from this end, got Lagoon, Blue Vibes and Amethyst. So there we have it, there were the swatches of the nine shades in the Everything You Need Bright Palette and without further ado, let's put them on my eyes. Okay, so I look like a mess, I'm literally just wearing like a night sports bra because it's so hot in my room. But we are testing out the Everything You Need Palette for the first time. Um, yeah, I don't really know what kind of eyeshadow look I'm going to do, but let's put some eyeshadow on. So... Looking at this, I'm thinking like orangey, sunsetty kind of look. So I already did a blue palette with the Stacey Marie, so I don't think I should do another blue eyeshadow look. So yeah, I think I'm going to go into Surreal Strawberry to start with, with this little brush, and just pack that on. And hope for the best. Mm. Just gonna take a teeny tiny pencil brush and bring that right in the inner. 
I do have to kind of like dig in to get like some payoff. Just gonna try and like blow that outside corner out a little bit. a bit more than I already did okay once the colour's on there it is nice and vibrant but I had to like dig a little bit into the pan to get it to be vibrant but I guess can I expect that? I don't really know these are like my first colourful BG Bay palette now going in with a little fluffy brush I'm going to go into the shade Heatway which is the bright orange and bring that around the outside of the red That one's a little bit more vibrant than the red was straight off the bat. And then back in with the brush that I used for the red, just going over that blend back and forth between orange and red, like makes the blending of it so much easier. Just going in with a clean brush, just going to buff out the outer edges of that orange. <laughs> Next I'm going to do like a halo eye, um, using my little brush, wherever that is. Taking this teeny tiny brush, I'm going to do a little halo eye. Okay, so this is what the eye's looking like so far. I'm now gonna pack on the outside of that cut crease with the same red, the surreal strawberry. Just blend that in. Next, I'm gonna pack on the orange on the lid as well. Oh, I don't drop everything. that right on the centre okay so this is what the eye is looking like so far and I'm going to pop off camera and do the rest of my face and I'll be back to finish off the eyeshadow look okie dokie I'm back and we're just going to do the lower lash line and finish off the eyeshadow yeah I curled my hair but I'm still in my sports bra that is me. Um, so we're going to go into the shade Surreal Strawberry. I'm going to pop that on the outer corner on my lower lash line. Just taking this teeny tiny, I think it's an eyebrow brush from Real Technique. But it's useful for the lower lash line. Obviously not going to leave my hair like this. I mean you could if you'd like your hair like this, but... And just get it out of the way. <laughs> Next, going in with another small brush and going into the shade Heat Wave, I'm going to pop that from the inner corner out. Taking a little fluffy brush and just blending. Okie dokie, and then to finish it off, I'm going into the shade Lemonade, which is yellow shimmer shade in the middle. Just taking that on a little brush, and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Blending it into the eyeshadow in the inner corner and on the lower lash line. Okie dokie, I'm going to pop off camera, get changed so I don't look quite such a mess, and I'll be back with the finished look. I am back and I've just put on some mascara and some lip gloss. The lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this I am back and I've just popped on some mascara and some lip gloss. The lip gloss I use is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade 
Fenty Glow, which is the original shade, and I am obsessed with this lip gloss. I'm so glad to finally get my hands on it. I've wanted it for ages, and like Boots had like the little Tessa things in their stores, but they never had actually ones that you could buy until now. And so I finally got my hands on it. Happy bean that I am. Um, <laughs> the thing that this video is about is the Everything You Need Bright 9 Colour Palette. Now, I have mixed thoughts on this palette. Um, the shadows are lovely, but it's just the colour scheme of it. It's a little bit weird. That's the thing that's like throwing me off a bit. Um, I'd get it if it was like all orangey, warmy tones like that. And then there was like a separate one all for like the blues, purpley, green sort of tones. But it's like jam packed into one. And I just. Maybe I'm not creative enough to think of enough like cool looks to do with it, but like. I don't know how I'd use the purple with the orange and things like that. Like, I just need a bit more of a creative mind, maybe. But to me, it's just a bit of an odd mashup of colours in a palette. But the actual eyeshadows themselves are lovely. Um, the red took a little bit of building up, which you probably saw when I was doing it. But once it built up, it was super easy to blend and really pigmented. Once it like, once I got going, maybe I had to like scratch off the top layer or something. But I am um, impressed with the shadows. The orange was really pigmented and um, really bright and vibrant. I love it. Um, and the yellow shimmer as well was really pretty, like in the other corner it looks pretty damn sparkly. Um, but yeah, overall I like the palette, I'm going to use it more and explore a little bit, maybe get a little bit more creative maybe. I just need to open up my mind for more colourful looks. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I mean maybe get the bigger one, uh, so it's got like more of a cohesive shade story where this one's a little bit jumbled in my mind but I am liking it and I'm sure you'll see many more videos with it and um, yeah this is a finished eyeshadow look a red and orange sunset eye pretty sure I've tried to do one of this like like this before and it didn't really go very well um, so I'm glad my makeup skills are improving and hopefully you're learning along with me but I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well I'd love to have you back here my name's Sophie and have a lovely day. Gotta go pick up Tom now. Bye.